A well-constructed road leading to the popular Nkwonewi main market in Anambra state. From a distance, everything seems normal looking at the stretch of the beautiful road. But beside it is this dreadful site, a result of erosion which has ravaged this part of Okuno Urago Newi land, swallowing over 50 buildings and even with some human casualties. The cracked walls are imminent signs that the end may be there for this structure as erosion creeps in day by day. My house is very close here now. Uh, so the thing has been giving us notice maybe if the type of rain that fall last year fall again, we will pack out from this town. Let the government come here, save us, and know what we are, what we are undergoing for the past 12 years now. Some victims tell the tales of the impact of the gully while calling for help. I don't live here anymore due to erosion menace. I presently live in my brother's house down Ochendo Hotel area. Erosion has really dealt with me and my family. Look at my house. Half has caved into the gully. It has taken my gates and I'm helpless. That is why I packed out to Chindo area. Umudim is another area where several buildings are under siege as the gully tears through farmlands ready to devour the high-rise buildings. Some of the buildings are vacant after residents fled for their lives. The Federal High Court, Federal Secretariat, including the NDLEA permanent site, are also being threatened. A situation the state government is worried about and says it's doing all it can to ameliorate the sufferings of the people. I have visited that place and I've seen it and it's increasing. It's not, it's, it's above, that thing is above 10 years. But this time around, because of the, his, uh, the importance His Excellency touches to some of these erosion menace areas, we try, we try to take census out of what the new map is handling now. And Amber State, they have a greater percentage of um, uh, projects they are handling under Amber State more than any other place. Promises have been made in the past, but what the residents need now are prompt actions from all relevant authorities before the situation gets even worse and their communities completely washed away.